Shalom family, we are now on day 16 of this 100 day scripture discussion journey. For those who've been tapped in since early this year in the community tab section, you know that we've been speaking about confluences, confluences. The scripture says that there is no new thing under the sun. Everything that will happen has happened before and the Most High brings events back in their turn. Now, it may not be the exact same thing that happens, but what the scripture is telling us is that if we have eyes to see and ears to hear, and if we are tapped in with insight and foresight, we're able to pick up on certain patterns and cycles of events. And by picking up on these patterns and cycles of events, we're able to position ourselves to have a greater understanding to benefit from these events and cycles whenever they happen instead of being a victim of these cycles and patterns and events that happen we position ourselves to benefit and to profit from these confluences and these patterns and cycles of events whenever they take place so for those that's been tapped in you know we've been speaking about confluences and we've been telling brothers and sisters for months and months now that we are now in another confluence we are in the 2024 confluence. And we've talked about how this one compares to the 2017 confluence and the 2020 confluence. And we pointed to those points in history of what takes place whenever confluences present themselves. Whenever confluences present themselves, it also presents opportunities for people that can recognize them and seize upon them. For instance, in 2020, there was a confluence. And what took place in the era of 2020 is the opportunity that presented itself was for many people to awaken to the truth and to see the true inner workings of this system and how the system was never truly for the people and to see how the system truly operates. But at the same time, with that taking place in 2020, it also presented the opportunity for people to take entrepreneurship and online business to a new level because that was a time for people that caught that wave. The wave that presented itself in 2020 was chances for online entrepreneurship and for waking up to the truth. That's what presented itself in 2020. And for many of the people that did not take advantage of that who got caught up in a lot of the distractions of that time, these were many of the people who ended up taking the jab because they didn't wake up to the truth of how the system works. This was uh, many people that didn't take advantage of those opportunities. They never put themselves in a position to be financially free because they did not take advantage of the opportunities presenting themselves at that time for online entrepreneurship, e-commerce, uh, Another opportunity that presented itself during that time was a cryptocurrency explosion of many people making life changing wealth and having progress in their life through taking advantage of the opportunity that presented itself with cryptocurrency, with the Bitcoin halving that happened in May of 2020. And following that, there was great political change, great society change. But for the people who took advantage of that confluence, it caused their life to level up in so many ways. Many people's lives were changed forever during that time and their lives were changed for the positive, myself being one included in that. So whenever these confluences take place, one thing that I've been sharing with brothers and sisters since the beginning is at the same time that these confluences take place, where life-changing opportunities present themselves to people, what also ends up happening is these be the times of greatest distractions and chaotic ups, ups and downs. During these confluences where there's opportunities that present themselves, where people can change their life and better their life, there's also mega distractions, mega chaotic events politically. In the 2020 confluence, you had the coronavirus lockdowns. You also had the... Uh, Black Lives Matter riots that took place. And you also had an election cycle with Trump versus Biden that got people ramped up during that time. 
Now with the 2024 confluence, what do we see happening? Again, same exact situations, family, same exact situations. In the 2024 confluence, more life-changing opportunities are presenting themselves. Now again with the cryptocurrency, with the Bitcoin halving that just happened in April, and even as we speak now with these events that's going on, everybody's talking about Biden stepping down. Everybody's talking about, you know, the uh, Trump assassination attempt. But like we talked about, the more life changing opportunities present themselves, the more chaotic ups and downs we see in the news cycle and in the political cycle. And as I've been speaking about, all these things present themselves because what it wants to do is keep people from taking advantage of the destiny opportunities that's available. Back in 2020, people were so caught up in the riots and coronavirus that many of them missed the opportunity that presented itself with e-commerce, online entrepreneurship, cryptocurrency, waking up to the truth because they were so caught up in the news cycle. Now, this year of 2024, as I've been saying in these writings I've been putting out, that it's only going to ramp up because we are in a window of time where so many life-changing opportunities are about to present themselves. We are on the verge of the biggest bull market in cryptocurrency history, even as we speak. The biggest bull market. This is a window of time where so many of these digital coins and digital currencies explode in value that for those who get on the right ones are able to make life change and wealth to position their families and their households in a better position. Now, why is this important? This is important because this may very well be the last time that it's this easy for you or I to change our lives forever. As this beast system gets more and more set up and more and more established, they're going to make it harder and harder and harder for people to rise. That's the whole object of this. That's what's special about these confluences. It creates a, a window of time. This is not going to last for a long time, family. This is not going to last for a long time, these opportunities. Five to eight months tops is what the window of time is. Same thing in 2020. That window and confluence in 2020 lasted about eight to 10 months. It's a very short window of time. Because after this, they're going to make it harder and harder for people to rise. I'm sure in the cryptocurrency market, they're going to make it harder and harder for, me, for people to make life change and wealth off of it. Because many people, including many of our bloodline people, their lives have been changed through the cryptocurrency, through online entrepreneurship. So this is a window of time that you and I have available to capitalize on these things before the system gets more and more tyrannical, more and more draconian. Another thing that took place in the 2020 confluence as long as well as this one, which is another distraction from the enemy, is a lot of false prophecies begin to go forth. That also becomes a distraction, especially in the Hebrew Israelite community. A lot of people get caught up in these false prophecies and it, instead of giving them faith and encouragement, it puts fear in their heart. You have people telling them that the system is about to collapse next week. World War III is about to happen next week. They did the exact same thing in 2020, family. They told you everything was going to blow up next week and you was about to go to the wilderness next week. It didn't happen. Here we are four years later and a lot of people feel terrible that they missed all those opportunities that presented themselves in 2020 because they was listening to Negroes online telling them that the world was about to blow up next week and it didn't happen. Same thing going on right now, family. You got a lot of people jumping out there, making false prophecies. Everything that takes place, they, they want to be the first uh, Negro Damas to make a prediction on something. Then it ends up not coming to pass. But what takes place is the people who listen to these people it causes them to miss their destiny opportunities because instead of them taking that time to make investments that could have increased to change their life, they're watching videos and sitting there in fear, waiting on the world to blow up or waiting on a UFO to come pick them up. 
Instead of them taking advantage of the confluence and the opportunities presented itself to learn things they can do to put them and their household in a better situation, they're waiting on something to blow up. And then when it ends up not happening, there they are again, missed, uh, missed another confluence and a whole bunch of destiny opportunities again and in the same situation or worse than what they've been in for the past five to ten years. I don't want that to be your portion. It's definitely not going to be my portion. So we're going to take advantage of these opportunities in front of us. So the false prophecies, the chaotic ups and downs in the news cycle. All these things, family, are to try to distract you from you better in your life, better in your household, and preparing for the things to come. Now, we do know eventually one day this system will collapse. Eventually it will. I'm not denying that. Eventually it will. But that's why it's important that we take advantage of these opportunities because the time is going to come where you're going to wish that you made those investments, cashed out on those investments, use those funds to get generators to protect you from blackouts and power outages. A lot of people are talking about, yeah, they're they, they, they going to slam the grid. They're going to cut the electric grid. It's going to be an outage. And then when you ask them, okay, do you have generators? No. Okay, do you got plants? Do you got seeds? No. So all these people that's talking about all these Negro Domus prophecies, none of them are even prepared for the prophecies that they're making. So you're prophesying there's going to be a power outage. Okay, that means you need to get some generators. Guess what? Generators cost money. Some of them cost $2,500, $5,000, $10,000. But guess what? If you would have positioned yourself to make some investments, you could have made an investment in a crypto or in an online business or by using your gifts, talents, and abilities online to get the funds to buy the generator so that when that prophecy finally does come to pass about a global outage, you and your family are able to thrive through it because you purchased the resources needed before the system collapsed. That's why I'm talking about this family. I'm talking about taking advantage of these opportunities so that you can begin to amass the resources that you will need in future devastating events. So you can already have the generators, so you can already have the seeds and the plants, so you can already have the weapons, so you can already have the land. Yes, these things do not bring salvation. Only the Most High brings salvation, but he does also use resources to get us through tribulation. Whenever our people came out of Egypt, we left with the Egyptian wealth. And that wealth from the Egyptians, we used to build our own nation in the wilderness. It was Egyptian gold that built the uh, Ark of the Covenant. It was Egyptian uh, linen and cloth that built the priestly garments and created the priestly garments. So just like with the next exodus that's coming we're going to need resources so now is the time for you to capitalize on these opportunities enrich yourself yes i'm telling you get wealthy get rich while the grid is still up so you can then use that wealth to help other saints and other brothers and sisters when the system collapses because you will have used that wealth to get natural resources let's break it down like this because whenever I say things like this, there's a lot of Negroes out there that's just too smart for their own good that say, you know, Brother L, uh, we're not going to be using cryptocurrency in the wilderness. So uh, all that don't mean nothing. That's Esau stuff. OK, Negro, follow me for a moment. L listen to common sense and reason for a moment, please, please. Whenever you invest in a cryptocurrency, let's say you invest $200, the price goes up. If you invest in the right coin, let's say that $200 turns into $5,000. You take that $5,000, cash it out. Now it's U.S. dollars. You take those U.S. dollars that you cashed out and you go buy seeds. You go buy a generator. You go buy firearms. You go buy survival things needed in tribulation. You see how that works? You made money off the cryptocurrency, cashed it out to then get resources that help you survive. That's how that thing works. 
So when I talk about crypto and online entrepreneurship and all these opportunities, using your gifts and talents to enrich yourself while the grid is up so that you can help brothers and sisters whenever those hard times come, when the system finally does collapse, I'm talking about you capitalizing on the opportunity, then cashing out before the system collapses, getting the resources, then using those resources for you and your family to thrive. That's what I'm talking about. Imagine if you made five to 10,000 or 100,000 or millions off cryptocurrency, off online entrepreneurship, off these opportunities presenting themselves, then you use that money to get a water filtration system to purify water. So when the system finally does collapse, boom, now you have a water filtration system that you purchased before the system collapsed. And now that same item is helping you survive through tribulations because you prepared before the system collapsed. So I'm not denying that the system is going to collapse. I'm just different from the other Negroes that people listen to in the Hebrew Israelite community because I'm not trying to be Negro Domus and give you prophecies. I'm just telling you how to prepare for the outcome of things. I'm showing you the pattern and cycle of events and I'm telling you how I capitalized on it and I'm telling you how also you can capitalize on it. So again, we are in another confluence, but the window is closing. We are on the verge of one of the biggest bull markets in history. And this may very well be the last one because before they make it nearly impossible for brothers and sisters to rise. So use these opportunities in front of you. Don't get so focused on all these distractions. I told y'all that it was going to be a lot of chaotic ups and downs because of the opportunity time that we're in. They're going to throw a lot of that out there to keep people dazed and confused and focused on that more than focused on improving their own life. Focus more on you and your household, preparing you and your household, you and your family being up and thriving. Focus more on that than all the distractions they're throwing out there. Anything they throw out there, whether it's Joe Biden stepping down, uh, the Trump assassination attempt, all these things they've been throwing at you, they're only going to ramp up the distractions even more. I'm telling you, family, I've been telling you how it was going to play out all the way since January, February. And I'm telling you now, the distractions are only going to ramp up even more. So you now have to become even more motivated to find opportunities that will change your life for the better. Capitalize on these opportunities. Don't sit around listening to false prophecies. Don't sit around getting mesmerized by the news cycle. Look for the opportunities. Capitalize on the opportunities. Enrich yourself. Cash out before the system collapses and use that, those, that cash out money to get resources that will get you and your family through the tribulation time that is sure to come upon this earth. That's my message, family. So again, they're only going to continue to ramp up the distractions. For those of you who haven't been listening, go uh, to the community section of my YouTube page. Read all the posts that I've been doing about confluences and catch up to where we're at right now. Because it's going to the, the ups and downs are going to get even more chaotic, but the opportunities are going to get even more great where you could change your life for the better. Some brothers and sisters are going to become multimillionaires in this confluence. Some brothers and sisters, their ministries are going to take off there in this confluence. Some people are going to recognize deep spiritual powers that they have during this confluence. Great things are going to happen for those who are seeking the most high, worshiping in spirit and in truth, and preparing themselves to capitalize on these times. I pray that you be the remnant, the elite, the elect, that is one of those that your life is changed forever, for the better, during this window of time. That's why I'm here doing this 100-day discussion. Because I want to do my part so that brothers and sisters are able to capitalize and so that I also capitalize on the things that I'm seeing in this confluence, in this pattern and in this cycle. So family, let's win. Let's dominate. Stay focused. Don't get caught up in the distractions. Keep your mind and your spirit on dominance. Keep your mind and your spirit on the kingdom. Keep using your talents and gifts and abilities. Don't let nobody make you fearful or unbelieving. Now is the time to be even more bold and even more courageous. Now is the time to show even more faith. Now is the time to step out there. Make something happen. Change your life for the better. Shalom.